Hey guys, today's play a game of Edge of Space. Uh, this is a platformer crafting game, I believe, that was released back in 2015. Uh, indie game, of course, another one I haven't tried yet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do, uh, it's cool that you can run your own server, but uh, let's do single player. Let me create a new avatar. Um, hmm. Okay, let's choose, uh, we can choose, customize our head here. Um, although it's covered by a helmet, so I can't exactly see very well what this is. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do hair. Uh, I guess it's, it was covered by the hair, that's what. Okay, um, I guess we will select. It doesn't matter too much here, I guess. Do we have, does that have to be pink? Oh, here. Yeah, we can change the hair color. Let's change it black. Uh, I guess light blue is fine too. Yeah, blue blue hair, anime color, man. Accessory, okay. Here's a variety of different different cool accessories. Okay, so by default I'm a I'm a, a duck face. <laughs> by default I'm a duck face, but I can choose. Um, I guess that's because I chose my head to be a duck face, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Now I can see my actual face. It could be uh, all these different faces, which is uh, a lot, actually. So you have like 20 something different faces. Oh my god. It could be like Shiba Inu. Can it be like Shiba Inu? Okay. Jeez, okay. It be like, okay, Shiba Inu sunglasses is fine. Okay. That's my avatar. Let's do this. Create world. Alright, um, I guess this is uh, supposed to be similar to Terraria, so we can generate our own world here, and um, what do we call it? Yeah, it's some generic name like that. Alright, so, yes, this does look a lot like Terraria, doesn't it? <laughs> it's basically, uh, what is this? Is this a flying shark? Flying cyber shark? Giant cyber sh What the heck? What's going on here? Let me get rid of these shellies. Oh man. Just start out and uh, ready these shellies to attack you. Holy shit. I just started out. These guys attack me. There's a giant flying shark. I always I start out and there's a giant flying cyber shark and all these flying jellyfish attacking me. Oh my god. There we go, finally. Some chance to actually think, man. Okay. There's still one of these guys left. Yeah, okay, there we go. finally can actually have some peace. Um, yeah, this game is obviously derived or very inspired by Terraria. I mean, just look at this. I mean, <laughs> first of all, you can craft stuff, right? You can uh, eliminate pieces of the ground with uh, this gun here. Yeah, you can eliminate that and then you, you know, get it in your inventory and stuff. So that's all very similar to Terraria and uh, is Starbound as well. But what this differs is um, 
I don't know, like, I think Starbound has more of like a real adventure RPG quality to it. Uh, this one seems like it might, um, but uh, definitely the first shades of Terraria here, right? I mean, you can just tell from the uh, the graphics, the appearance of this game, the fact that you can mine stuff, and the fact that you're on like some sort of space planet with a randomly generated world. That stuff is all very Terraria, so very heavily influenced by Terraria, see? And of course you can, um, I'm guessing you can use it to place different tiles as well. So this is the, the mining equipment that I use. This is similar to a pickaxe in other crafting games. So basically this is a laser pickaxe. And then this is the weapon I have, the blaster. Alright, can we mine this? Let's mine the seed pod. Let's see, we can pick this up. Okay. 2 p.m. Okay, so I'm guessing this has a night day cycle, because uh, that's pretty standard for these kind of games. Night day cycle. Alright. Here we are in the caves. Dead. Luminite crystal. I wonder how I can pick these up. How can I pick these up? Uh, statistics. So, um, helmet. Okay, I put on my helmet. Statistics. Okay, so definitely RPG. Got RPG elements to it, so that part is more like Starbound. It's got something like that, and this is where I can. Oh yeah, okay. So this is a thing I can use to uh, place these things back. Okay. Yeah. So this is my space basically my laser pickaxe thing, which I can use to, uh, you know, to destroy these pieces of land, and then I can use this one to place those objects back. So there's always a way to place these objects back, because of the crafting system, right? Alright, I just need um, a torch or something here. can't see anything. Now I have a jetpack, which is nice. The other games, you don't get a jetpack. I don't get a jetpack. Well, you don't start off with a jetpack in Starbound, and you don't get a jetpack in Terraria. You have to basically find one. Yeah, you don't start off with those in those games. Freaking crabs, dude. This is a pain in the ass. better meat, right? It's free range, it's non-caged, and it's happier, it gives you better meat. That's what the, uh, that's what the companies always tell you, right? <laughs> you better buy this free range organic chicken, or this, uh, you know, cage-free eggs or whatever, or, uh, grass-fed beef, you know, they, they led better lives. I mean, they give you tastier meat. It must be the case. Happier animals equals more delicious meat. Stalagmite. How do I get this? I wonder how do I uh, mine for this? Toadstool. Plasma torch. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't have 
too much light in those caves. That's a problem. I need some kind of torch. Oh, now it's a day-night cycle, of course, so now it's turning to nighttime here. Although, of course, we're in the uh, waste space, so nighttime is relative. <laughs> relative to uh, whatever planet you're on. Oh man, now it's totally dark outside now, too. Now it's like really, <laughs> really dark outside. Outside, alright. Destroy the jelly nest. Really gives me the feeling, uh, and of course this world is randomly generated, right? So it's just like Terraria. It's uh, randomly generated, and it's up to you to try to, to uh, explore and mine it, I guess. Really dark outside. I think I actually destroyed that nest, so... Yeah. It, it is just as dark out here as it is in there. Oh, there's another jelly. Why is a 0 out of 4? Impossible. I just destroyed a jelly nest. There's another one here, maybe. Nest. 
There, it's dead. Side the sun wall or leave the area. We're gonna leave the area. Come on. Oh. Where's my jetpack? I don't have my jetpack anymore or something. Oh, I have to wait for my fuel. I need energy. Build platforms just like in Terraria, in Minecraft, and other games like this. It's starbound. So, yeah, we do that. Oh, oh no, I think I've been here before. Me! Jelly lump, jelly ooze, rock, proto roots, nest jelly. That's what we're trying to get. Wonder, should I talk to that cyber shark again about the next quest? Seems like he was giving me some quests. I'm just on floating platforms. Says me toaster. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's collapsing, I think. Nope. No. It's not. Okay, that's my quest. Collect 15 dirt, 15 rock, all items collected. I did, I already did that. Alright, I need soft chili and proto roots for roots. Toothbrush.
here. Hmm, I can plant my seeds here. Dirt and mud. Fashion myself a house. I think I might stop here, but uh, yeah, you guys know what this game is about. It's basically another um, Terraria-like game. Uh, a lot of games came out around, I think the 2010s, that basically took the Terraria concept of mining and stuff like that, and exploring in space, and uh, added some their own so added some of their own touches to it. The most notable are Starbound and uh, this one, Edge of Space. Uh, compared to Starbound, I think Starbound probably has a little bit more to do in it. Uh, than this one, um, but that's not to say this one is like a bad game or anything like that, it's, it's okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's his own twist on uh, on the Terraria concept, so yeah, I think it's not a bad game. Uh, if Definitely if you're interested in uh, Terraria or Minecraft or Starbound and you haven't tried out Edge of Space yet, then this is a worthy one to pick up as well, because it's, it's a pretty similar concept. Oh, I wish I had a torch here. Put a seed. Chill your beans. Oh, here we go. Plasma torch. I do have a torch. All right. Let's put this one here. All right. So this one will light it up at night. All right. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Edge of Space. Again, if you like these kind of games, Terraria like games. Uh, if you like Starbound, but you haven't played this game yet, then uh, then check it out. It's got the same type of graphics and uh, same type of gameplay, just an alternative. Um, with its own tweaks, I guess. So, that's it guys, thanks for watching. So anyways guys, uh, that is Edge of Space. Um, it's basically, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's another Terraria-like game where uh, you can have open exploration, randomly generated worlds, crafting, um, and just, uh, yeah, adventure type of game with RPG elements in it. So if you like Terraria and you like Starbound, those types of games, you haven't checked this game out, uh, check it out. Find. I can do that. Maybe to upgrade my character. And I think this guy can actually defend people for you because he has like lasers and stuff. If anyone comes near us, he can automatically protect. <laughs> so this is actually the starting point is a pretty nice base too because you have your, your flying cyber shark to protect, to protect you. So, anyways, guys, uh, that's it. I think it's a pretty nice game if you're uh, if you're into those other games. It's pretty similar. So, as it, guys, thanks for watching.